Good morning, family. Today is Monday, the 22nd of October, and we are on our way into Food for Less. We're going to go get the ingredients that we need to make a pot of chili. It looks like it's going to rain today, so we wanted something hearty for the kids and I and Tony and Ken to eat. Let's go. My baby wrote a note this morning on all the ingredients that we needed. So let's get started. Looks like they're stocking this morning or something. See? So we're gonna go get some vegetables. Guys, look at all these good markdowns. I was just asking my daughter, which is right here, and I was like, mommy, should we get a socket to me cake? And so she says, what you say, baby? I said, oh, everybody's losing weight now. My baby's on a little weight loss journey, and so she says, no, Mom, I'm doing too good right now. Well, Daddy might want this, you think? Yeah. He could put it on his desk at work. Let's get him something. Okay, these is what, sugar cookies? I want those. It is for Daddy. <laughs> Let's get some powder. And some sugar cookies. We came in the store at the right time. It's a sweet potato pie. What is this? Pineapple rolls, crumb cake. There's some more cookies right there. There's all kind of, oh man, I am, I'm losing it. I'm losing it, I'm losing it. I can't believe I'm seeing this. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. I like this. <laughs> Good morning. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Tiana, get about two pounds of these gala apples here. Which ones? These ones right here. They're both the same. So get two pounds of those. And I'm gonna go on the other side, okay? When I lived in Compton, we had a pomegranate tree in our backyard. And every time I see these, it just reminds me so much of my childhood in my backyard and the swing set. These used to fall on our swing set, on our swing set, say that twice. Anyway, but now every time I see these, it takes me back to that place, as well as low quats and uh, kumquat. We had a low quat kumquat tree. And so every time I see that, it just takes me to that place. Pomegranate. They usually have these marked down in the morning sometimes, and they're like $3.98 for the big ones, but when they mark them down, they mark them down to $1.50 for the big bag. And I always get the curly mustard. I like those. And the country greens, which are mixed, so I like those. I don't particularly care for collards. They're just a little bit too tough, and they, you know, the, the, the scent is real strong on collards. Not to say that that's a bad thing. It's just the fact that I use these as a filler. So whenever I use collards, I probably use like one bunch, but I mix them with my curly and my turnips. But this right here has a blend. See, it has a blend of collard, mustards, and turnips. So I'll um, get these as opposed to buying a big bag of those or I'll just get a bunch. But I also like kale in my greens and I'll sometimes put just one bunch of kale inside of my greens too and it really just makes them tasty now these are just the smaller 12 ounce ones and they also um mark these down to a dollar they're regularly 248 but they'll mark them down to a dollar when they have them on marked down and so in the mornings i just like to come and do my rounds i like to come and do my rounds and see what's marked down. But right now, it doesn't seem like much. We are in bread heaven. Do you see all these markdowns on this bread? Okay, this is honey oat. That's whole wheat. 
and then these are like some rolls. We are in a markdown heaven. Kenny likes whole wheat bread. I'm taking care for whole wheat bread, so that doesn't amuse me. However, this is some markdown heaven. Excuse me, babe. Buttermilk. Let's go with old-fashioned white. Get a few you can always freeze them and they'll always stay. Tiony, stack those up in the cart really nice for me. I don't want to just throw it in there and make it look ugly. Stack the bread up in the cart, babe. Three of them is good. But there's all kinds of rolls and everything. Even the rolls are on sale. That is awesome. Babe. Tiony, stack this bread up in here for me, please. Okay. Mmm. Oysters. Wow. Okay. Shrimp for jambalaya, maybe. Mmm. Kind of iffy about seafood. You just have to cook it right away. Uh, but I do want to. And see, as long as the water isn't murky, you're winning. See the way that is? It's fine. So that's good. Perhaps I'll cook those. Here. And I just simply cut them up. You know, slice them up. Because I don't like them whole like that. So I'll slice them up. Cut them. And then I'll fry them. Bye! good for jambalaya for sure but I don't know when the next time I'm cooking it but perhaps we can even freeze it what you think babe you think we should get some shrimp and freeze it for jambalaya yeah or even to fry let's get both of these we got daddy's car today <laughs> let's get both of those he said we can have whatever we like did he so let's do it. I don't see much on the markdown front today. Now, um, my mom, she would buy this sometime or even like at the butcher. And she would buy the block of chili and incorporate that inside of her chili as well. Um, there's no markdowns on the ground beef whatsoever. I love, love, love markdowns. You guys know this. Now this is turkey sausage. I don't know what that tastes like. I don't know if we should try it. I've never had turkey bacon. Well, wait a minute, I take that back. I bought turkey bacon when I was on my way last journey earlier in the year, and I have bought turkey bacon. I didn't like it. So I don't know if I'm gonna dig that or not, so let's not even waste that money. Um, babe, what you singing? What you saying? Don't stop them with it. What, um, don't stop them with it. What, what, uh, what does that mean? Don't stop them with it. What what what, what song is that? It's, uh, uh, who sings that? Uh, not Steve Breezy. It's uh, Chris Brown. Uh, oh, okay. Chris okay. Brown in the AM. All right. Okay. I think I'm gonna get one of these though and freeze it. Yeah. Let's get one of these. So when we do enchiladas, like like pick me. I love chicken liver. I love it. I love it. Not to mark down. That's wings and beans. Mark down. What, babe? I don't see much on the mark down front. They're not really on sale, but I love these cocks. And especially for my beans. I love them. I don't see, I don't see smoked jowl at all here. Yes, I've heard of Chris Brown. I, mommy just happened to. Um, well, I think he is kind of cute. Now I do give him that. He is kind of cute. Yeah, he's tall. He's kind of sexy too. You know, he looks like um, the other Chris Brown that played for the Lakers. That's now married to Monica. They look just alike to me. Okay, you said you needed ranch dressing. Yeah. Okay, let's get some ranch. Okay, now for chili, 
You can also use like your dice or your stewed tomatoes. But my kids don't really like stewed tomatoes and diced tomatoes too much unless it's like a salsa. So what I do when I make um, my chili, I just use regular tomato sauce. Okay, a big one, which is down here. But we're also going to need some chili powder. Um, Laurie, and where's McCormick? I like McCormick, not because it's cheaper, but I just like the taste of McCormick. So we're going to take three of these. Chili, oh, you want to try one? No, let's, keep, let's stick to what we know, because that might not even taste good. So we're going to stick to what we know. Okay, now, so we got three of those, and we're going to need some tomato sauce. Now, the way I think about it and the way my mama taught me, there's really no difference, really, between store brand and um, generics because, truthfully, when you go out and buy tomatoes or you pick fruit, does it say this one here is going to Kroger's or this one here is going to Albertsons or this one here is going to Safeway? It's still tomatoes. So, we're going to rock. Let's get one big one, like so. Now we need puree. The puree is just thicker, and you just, um, the puree or the paste, okay? Let me show you. The tomato paste is just as good. It's just thicker, and you're going to mix it with water, okay? So being that we have one of these at home, we're going to just get, um, we're going to get one of these because we have one of these at home and we're going to get a tomato paste to go with it. Okay? Um, I think that's it. Let's go. It feels good to come in a store in the morning times because it's less crowded. And one thing I've noticed at the beginning of the month, it's really, really crowded because here in the state of California, um, a lot of people that get their stamps, they get them be between the 1st and I believe the 10th of the month. And so it's really, really crowded at that time. And I ain't hating on none of that because, man, that is definitely the hookup. Anyway, um, but we need some canisters of tea. And my children and I, we love, love, love this raspberry mix tea right here. It is bomb. Now, on base, this Lipton... It's $4.99. This country time is $4.99. So I'm not going to get those because look how much they are here. It's ridiculous. But we will get, here babe, get one of these concentrates though. We do need one of these. Because it's so much easier for the kids to make a drink. So let's get one of those. And, and make sure you put it in a basket nice and neat, please. And this raspberry tea, we love it. It's so good. Yum, 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 yum. My baby has gotten her ranch, but we need Worcestershire sauce. That is another key ingredient inside of our chili. Now, Leanne Perkins, that's the best, all time best right there, okay? However, it isn't on sale here. At the commissary, a size this big of Lee and Perkins, per, excuse me, Perkins, it's like about $2. So, being that I don't have the ability to get to the base right now, about 20 miles out, not going to the base this morning. So, bam, we're gonna get Kroger Graham for $1.78, same size bottle. How about that one? Check this out. 15 ounces Worcester sauce. How many ounces is this guy right here? 15 ounces. How about that? Ta -da. Okay, let's see if my cheeses are on sale here. Now, here's Chorizo's, 98 cents. But I like the other brand that I always get, so we're gonna get that other brand. However, they got cheese on sale, three for five. I'm such a cheese lover. 
um, sharp. It's just a little bit too sharp for me. It's good for my macaroni and cheese, but I don't really dig it too much on just regular stuff. I do like uh, mild cheddar though. So let's get mild cheddar. Here, babe. And then I like that casserole blend that has like all kind of different cheeses in it. So let's go get that. I love it in the morning. Man, there's nobody here. It's quiet, it's clean. Yes. What about, um? you guys need cheese slices? For your sandwiches? Yeah. Yeah. Question, okay, here, let's get a couple because we got a lot of bread here. Hey, babe. Is okay you yes, you may. Um, Daddy, Are you a big fan of Nicki Minaj? am I a big fan of Nicki Minaj? I only like her because she can wear any type of colors, even though they look ugly, but she can wear. Really, really outrageous. <laughs> Even though it looks simple. ugly. Yeah. yeah, I um. She wore many outrageous clothes. I respect her for what she does, babe. Here. Oh. Here, I respect her for what she does, and and in this business, sometimes you have to be rather colorful. Let's get some of these. Daddy likes these too. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, let's get some of these. Man, I wish they had the mixed berry. We're gonna get just about all they got. Well, you know what? Mommy didn't really think that it was funny that she blew up on Mariah Carey. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I feel as though you need to pay homage to the people that came before you. So, I really didn't deem it to be funny, babe. I thought it was rather disgraceful. I don't know exactly what all Mariah Carey said to this young lady. Or what triggered the whole confrontation. However... I just felt like it could have been handled a little bit differently than that. And I'm just going to leave it like that, okay? Okay. Let's see, I think we got... Now, all of these here are apple turnover. You want to try that? Yeah. Apple turnover? Yeah. Okay, here. Okay, what about lemon cream pie? You want to try that? Yeah, I love you. Okay, this is another apple turnover. Look like I see a key lime pie here, babe. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's okay. Okay, and this is a key lime pie. Uh, Daddy really likes these too, and he puts them in the fridge at work, so he'll be kind of excited about this. Let's get another uh, lemon something. I don't know. Um, oh, like this raspberry, that's what I love. And especially the mixed berry one. Mommy really, really likes that, so. Mommy, one day you should, one day we should make smoothies. Smoothies? Yeah. Well, you know what? We got that big old ninja. We should, huh? Yeah, do smoothies. Okay, we'll do it. Daddy said we need to start juicing again. He said he wants to do it, too. Yay. So Daddy said... Let me know what you need, and I'll get all the stuff you need. We need to start juicing. I know. You gotta love him. That's your dad. You know he's a good guy. He's funny, kinda, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. You see the way he laughs, though. Oh my God, baby, I've seen that laugh for years. Okay, let me see. <laughs> I think that's about good enough, right? I yeah. think we got all the ones that I What is it? Okay. One gallon of grade A vitamin A and D, 1% low fat milk each when you buy two of any same flavor. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, uh, comediama, and buenos noches. Whatever that, all that other stuff is. Yeah. So, you have to buy two, and there'll be 278. But you know what? We don't need to buy it like that. I bought it like that when you guys were little. Yeah. After one year old, after mommy got finished breastfeeding and stuff and you guys were still on your milk, I bought two gallons like that to mix it with your 
cereal and stuff. Not anymore. We're so beyond those stages. Thank God. Okay, check this out, baby. Yes. Now, my kids are kind of like it. I know Ken will love these. So, Tony likes them hot too, so let's get that. Here, come here, babe, with the cart. $3.99, we only need one because we have a couple of them in the freezer already, but I have the classic, the plain ones. We have two boxes of those in the freezer, so let's just get one hot one. Here, babe. Come on with the cart. It's heavy, heavy, heavy. But what about some Jimmy Dean sausage? $1.29. What about the maple one? That's still hot. Uh, I can't do too much hot. I can't do the hot because I already have real bad bouts with um, heartburn. So I can't do the hot too tough. But this is the chorizo. Okay, I don't see the brand that I usually get. I don't see it. However, so we're going to get one beef. Here, babe. And one pork. Okay. Now, for those of you guys that do not eat beef or pork, they do have soy chorizo. Um, I was kind of wanting to see if they had it in Turkey. They don't. I don't see turkey, but I do see chicken chorizo. So those of you guys that aren't doing it like us over here, that eat a little bit more healthier than I, then therefore that would be one that you would possibly pick. Um, as for me, give me full fat. I know that's kind of sad, but it's true. Okay. Yeah. Markdowns. Bacon. Here, baby. You can't beat that for 49 cents. Heck yeah, slice them in half and fry them with some, in, in the morning, 49 cents for hot dogs, girl, that's winning. Okay. <laughs> I know, I got, I got me two packs myself. Bacon, one something out here. And the kids like him. All this kinds of stuff. All that bread I bought. Yeah. Hebrew beef, beef franks. These are 49 cents. How many of the ham did we get, babe? The square ham? One. We got one. Did we get um the shaved ham too? How many of those did we get, pretty? Okay. What's back there? Some more stuff. Oh, that sounds just back there look a little peculiar. We're good on margarine, right? Yes, babe? What? Are we good on margarine? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Because I got two. How many How many cheeses did I get already? Did I get two? Because they're three for five. And what kind did I get already? Because this is the one I really, really like. Do we have some at home already? Mild cheddar and nacho. So let's take out the mild cheddar and let's get two, two of the casserole. And then you guys keep your... Well, you know what? Freak it. Let's get a Mexican style. Let's get. Let's just get six of them. How about that? Okay. Here. That. How many is that? Kobe Jack. Five. That's five. And let's get a Kobe Jack. Because I am going to make some chicken and broccoli noodles this week. That they'll be the packet. We'll do that too. Okay. See how my daughter begin to just throw it up in here? I do not like a messy cart. And you see, 
how she did it. Anyway, let's check out. So, spent $103 on Tony's card. Uh, but they did, however, give me some coupons. I'll show you. They did give us some coupons to come back and get $15 off of a purchase of $150. And they gave me two of them. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to walk and do this at the same time. So I get $12.50. I have two of them off of a $150 purchase. So buy $150 and I get $30 off with these coupons. So that's a really, really good deal. I have to come and stop up on some meat and get that. My daughter's coming out of the store. Tioni's coming out of the store. And I know I'm looking hot mess. I don't care. Guys, they put these nails on me. I've been taking these nails off since they put them on. I did good, like the first two days of taping. And then after that, I was like, you know what? I'm taking these nails off. Look, I'm starting to take them off. My daughter, mommy, why are you taking the nails off? Because I don't do nails. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. I like dainty stuff, but I don't like acrylics and I don't like nails on my hands. I like my hands plain. All right, family. Thank you guys. Love you guys for coming. Check out this We're out. Love you.